Welcome to this video. In the last video, we learned how to find a solution of a pair of linear equations by the elimination method. Now, we will look at some commonly made mistakes while solving such questions. Solve the given pair of linear equations by the elimination method. Pause the video to solve this question and then match your answer. In the given pair of linear equations, in order to eliminate one variable, when we multiply equation 1 by 2 and subtract it from equation 2, we get an equation with no variable. You must remember that whenever we get an equation without any variable in it, then there are infinite solutions to the pair of linear equations in that situation. Therefore, there will be an infinite solution to this pair of linear equations. Hence, option 3 is correct. If you selected option 1, then it is a good try, but it is the wrong answer. Because to solve the given pair of linear equations, when you multiply equation 1 by 2, you forgot to multiply y by 2 and solve the question further. As a result, ended up with a wrong answer. If you have selected option 2, then that's also a good try. But it is also the wrong answer. Because to eliminate a variable in the given pair of linear equations, you multiply equation 1 by 2 and then subtract it from equation 2. Now, you forgot to change the negative sign to a positive sign on the RHS because of which we get a false statement with no variable. This shows that the pair of linear equations does not have a solution. So I hope you understood why option 3 is correct and the rest are incorrect. A teacher can test his students in the class by using such examples.